748 now. It's a new year. Time for a new you. You've probably heard of life coaching before. But if you haven't tried it, well, we have Deborah Hawkins here this morning to tell us a little bit more about it. And Deborah, you and I were just talking. I I'm sort of have always been a fan of um, of seeking mental health when you need it. I think your brain is just like a part of your body. If you need help and you're going through a time in your life where you, you maybe need to get out of being sick, mm -hmm. uh, then it's seeing someone to help you through that is an important part of life. And I know that this is not therapy, but tell me about the differences between life coaching and therapy and, and how it can help right. people who want to improve. Well, um, Evan, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, if you're sick, you go to the doctor. You know, if you break your arm, you know, you go get it fixed. And we don't always think that we need that kind of support, that mental support, but we really do. Mm -hmm. um, the difference between life coaching and therapy, and I'm a fan of therapy, I've done time in therapy. Therapy is more about working uh, in the past and with your emotions. Mm -hmm. Life coaching is about working right now on a goal that you want. It's more future oriented, um, working in the present and looking at um, how do we create a plan and have someone hold you accountable to get from where you are to where you want to be. And, and really, so in that way, you're kind of helping people sculpt what they want their lives to look like, whether that be career-wise or Absolutely. relationships? Many people come to me and they're not even sure what they want. Mm. So we do a lot of excavation and internal looking at, um, you know, what what would really make you happy. A mm. lot of people don't even spend time, you know, we're so busy, thinking you know, about thinking it. about what do I want next? Right. And it's kind of a proactive l work rather than therapy. And you obviously have uh, some tips for people who have made resolutions or they just want this year to be a, a great year for them? Absolutely. Tip one, and I usually start this with all my clients, and you do not need a life coach to do this, um, is really begin to pay attention to your thoughts. Mm. And, you know, we have habits. We have um, health habits. You know, we have work habits. We have these different kind of habits. But we don't really think about that we have mental habits. And most people aren't aware that we have up to 70,000 thoughts a day in our head and a lot of them are not very healthy yeah. and we tell ourselves you know um, negative things and so the idea is to become aware so what I would tell people to do is start paying attention to what you're saying to yourself and start writing it down mm, okay. and once you look at you know what you've written down by three o'clock you'll realize if I was saying that to my friend I wouldn't have a friend anymore right so it's really awareness so that's the first tip sure so being self-aware self-aware second tip would be in that same area as you begin to become aware of the of what you're saying to yourself is to many times we tell ourselves statements like I'll never lose the 10 pounds mm. or you know I could never get that job and so what I encourage people to do is to begin to ask questions. Mm. So take the statement and instead of saying, um, and this is something you can write down as well, instead of saying, you know, I'll never lose the 10 pounds, begin to ask, what could I do? What's the small step I could do today to get to my goal? You know, mm -hmm. could I walk at lunch? You know, could I stop the dessert? Right. You know? So questions open possibilities. Statements kind of close the door. Well, we don't want to give all the tips away right now, but there are places where people can get in touch with you Absolutely. if they want to learn more about life coaching. You have yes. a website? Yes, DeborahHawkins.com. Mm -hmm. And also, if you go there, you can sign up and you can um, get these tips and more uh, on a free PDF. You just have to sign up. And also, I'm doing a free teleclass, intro teleclass this week, and you can sign up for that as well to talk more about life coaching and how I can support you in the coming year. Okay, perfect. Deborah, thank you so much thank for coming you. in. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We'll be right back. Stay with us.